Hey, the best breakfast in Long Beach, Mississippi on the Mississippi Gulf Coast is where? Stay tuned and you'll learn all about it. The Traveling to Sea Channel. We love to travel, love to share. Traveling is great on land, sea, and air. Come with us as we go and see together how much better our traveling can be. Rusty Pelican Restaurant. Rusty Pelican Restaurant 2024, the best breakfast in Long Beach, Mississippi. Oh, we go there often. Long Beach, Mississippi is located right on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, known as the Friendly City, just west of Gulfport. Beautiful, beautiful place. Welcome to Long Beach. And if you come to Long Beach, you want a great breakfast, you need to go to the Rusty Pelican, which was number three in our overall restaurants for the city. But Rusty Pelican is where we go for breakfast, our number one pick for breakfast. Ample seating, not usually long waits, very good service, good food, good prices. They've got beignets, they've got Take out or dine in, and they also have some Vietnamese items. Fantastic egg rolls. Here's their Facebook page that you can check out. And their Facebook page includes some menus right there that you can look at, and I've also included the menus at the end of this video. Be sure to check that out. WLOX Channel 13, our local TV station, had a great story about the owner. Vietnamese refugee overcomes struggles and turns them into success. Listen to this. Month marks 49 years since the end of the Vietnam War. With it came the evacuation of thousands of Vietnamese refugees seeking freedom. One of those refugees turned her traumatic struggle into a coast life success story. Working and survive, that's all I know. Way Rotelli's been feeding hungry customers of the Rusty Pelican for almost four decades. Rich toasted the strawberries on top. <laughs> no butter, right? <laughs> no, we come here about six mornings a week for breakfast. <laughs> Boy. Yay, thank you. But the biscuits and eggs have never come easy for Way. If you can talk to anybody who know me from the beginning, they know how hard I work to get to the day. Way is from Vietnam. During the war, she worked for an American company in Saigon. In April 1975, the U.S. was pulling out, putting her and her family in danger. I am Vietnamese refugees. The images are familiar from history, but for Way, she lived it. We took my family and me to the airport. She got a warning from her boss at the time, and Way, with her small children, acted fast. We have in the base about 20,000 people ready to left the country. After about a full day at the base, it was time to leave with the Americans. There's a bunch of big helicopter come over, land on the base, and they tell us 60 people and get to the plane, 60 people and get to the plane. They pick the people up from the base. Way and thousands of other Vietnamese refugees were taken to aircraft carriers and large vessels in the Pacific. Look at how many people in there. From there, the journey continued to America. At the time, she didn't even understand why she had to leave her home behind, but today she believes the journey saved her life. I don't even know why I'm here, but later on I realized I'm here, why I'm here and how lucky I am why I'm here. After moving around the country and living in Cincinnati for several years, Way and her husband discovered South Mississippi. Moved here for the view, bought a restaurant in Past Christiane, and kept the name Rusty Pelican from the previous owner. In the first five years, I have no day off. Way persevered. In 20 years after first opening, she had built a successful and popular business. We're doing fine until Katrina. Again. 
30 years since she fled Vietnam, Way was starting over. I lost everything. I mean, absolutely nothing left. In the time of need and great loss from the hurricane, Way served others by preparing meals for victims and volunteers. The favor of generosity was returned. They say, well, you help them. Why don't we just help you to build your house back or build your restaurant? Starting from scratch, Way was on the comeback. She found a vacant property on Beatline Road in Long Beach and for the second time opened the Rusty Pelican in 2008. Her old customers followed and she found plenty of new ones as well. How long you gonna stay here? They're not just my customer, they're my friend. They are very, very good to me. Without the, the people who I know for 39 years, I couldn't make it today. Did you order Bundy? We really like being friends with Wei. You know, you've got to respect her and I feel really honored to be one of her friends. Wei's story is one of perseverance, survival, and hard work. For her, it's all been worth it. At this point, I'm happy. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. I would like to say, in the bottom of my heart, I really, really thank you, the U.S. military the most, who brought us here. That's how I become the way I am today. And so the Rusty Pelican really become a favorite uh, for hungry customers in South Mississippi. She has been back to Vietnam several times and done charity work as well there to help people in her home country. Yeah, what a great story of perseverance. I know you said she fled with her children. How are her children? That's right. Uh, in fact, she has three children. She raised them all in America. Today they're grown and they're doing well with their own careers. So all around, uh, Way's doing pretty good. Yeah, it's a great story. And that's quite a story, isn't it? Let's check inside the restaurant. The Rusty Pelican is really, really a very, very nice restaurant. You can see they've got this beautiful water garden out the other side of the parking lot. Lots of ample parking there. This is the entrance. Everything's decorated with pelicans and beautiful plants and flowers. You can see throughout the restaurant, very, very well done. Very well done. You can see all kinds of different pelicans. And here's their menu, their breakfast menu. This is when we like to go. You can see they've got pork chops, corned beef hash, pancakes, chef special, breakfast special, deluxe breakfast, sandwiches, omelets, they've got cafe au lait and beignets and breakfast side items. Again, the full menus are at the end of the video. You can see them there. This is my beautiful wife, Emily, looking forward to her breakfast. And there she got the deluxe breakfast. See the pancakes, the eggs with side of bacon and the hash browns very very good and I got the western omelet with sausage and a side of hash browns with onions I like it with onions and they've got the raisin toast which I really really enjoy it's fantastic and they also have beignets we didn't get any this particular day but we've had them before we really enjoy them as well as their egg rolls. Egg rolls are good any time of the day. Man, they're great. And they've got cafe au lait and they've got Vietnamese coffee as well and Vietnamese dishes. The pho is outstanding. So if you're in Long Beach, check out the Rusty Pelican breakfast or lunch. You'll not be disappointed. This has been our review of the Rusty Pelican restaurant. Like and subscribe, you can see these and the other videos. You know, we have a whole series that covers top five restaurants across the Mississippi Gulf Coast from the Louisiana to Alabama borders. And these include 
the best uh, top five in Biloxi, in Gulfport, Long Beach, etc. And we add new videos to this all the time. There's also a series of videos on top attractions from the Louisiana border to the Alabama border. So check those out and comment below. Have you been to the Rusty Pelican? What do you think? What's your favorite thing on the menu? And here is the menu. You can stop the video right here and take a look at the full menu front and back. This is the menu you can pick up and take with you so you can dream. So keep traveling, keep watching, enjoy life, God bless.